Hello, everyone. Today's poem is Xiaoya, Simu, a Xiaoya poem from the Book of Songs. The title Simu means the four strong, quick horses.、Uh, basically, it's an alternative name for the chariot. For the Zhou people, the chariot has basically two、uh, meaningful. Uh, ask aspects. First thing first, the chariot is the most powerful, most advanced weapon in a war. So it's a weapon. So it's very easily you we will find the de- description、uh, or words about the chariot or simu、uh, in that type of poems. In the Book of Songs, so、uh, secondly, this the chariot. It looks like it's very、uh, exclusive、uh, vehicle for the noble peoples. So the more、uh, advanced or fine decorated chariot it is, the more noble or the more、uh, royal for that. Uh, figure that people、uh, was related. So in that circumstance, the chariot is to use to、uh, to 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 give us the background to make a contrast or give some of the reference to the subject to the figure described. There are total twelve poems in the Book of Songs that、uh, appear the word "simu," the title of this poem.、Uh, ten of them is very clearly it's about、uh, the warfare, a war, a battle, and、uh, this one、uh, from the very surface is not very clear. But、uh, I believe it's writing about. A war. The figures in this poem is a general, is a soldier, as well. And、uh, so the general int- interpretation for this poem is、uh, that is the 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 poet, the writer of this poem, or the subject of this poem is a normal officers. So he was touring touring around. Uh, between states of the Zhou country and uh, uh, fulfill his duty、uh, of the king, the、uh, the king of Zhou dynasty. So he was a、uh, high, uh, a mid level ranking officers、uh, belonged to the king of Zhou, and but I don't、uh, buy in this idea at all because. The powerful, quick, strong chariot. When the Zhou people read it, immediately in their mindset is the war, the battlefield, the soldier and the generals. Okay, let's uh, uh, go to details and see which interpretation is more appropriate. The first paragraph: Si mu fei fei, Zhou dao wei yi. The four strong, quick horses running quickly like flying on the main road of Zhou, which is turn left and right in the zigzag way. So the word Wei Yi, we actually have saw this. Many times in the Book of Songs, but the writing in this poem is different. But they mean meaning they have the same share the same meaning,、uh, and uh, this the writing here、uh, very likely is a、uh, long words. So they have to share the same、uh, meaning, share the same sound, but with different writings. And the fei fei、uh, normally was interpreted as the horses. Is very tiresome, but I share a different、uh, view, which means like flying. 
it described the horse, the running horse, like flying. 岂不怀归？王室迷谷。So 归 we saw the very familiar words again. 归 coming back home. So why sh?、Uh, sh Didn't I? Why should I think about、uh, going home? Because Wang Shi, the affairs of the king never stops. We saw this、uh, sentence, Wang Shi Mi Gu, in another poem, Cai、uh, Fei, and、uh, we'll talk more about this later. So, so, 我心伤悲 my heart was hurt. My heart was sad. So, 伤悲 today is one word. It means sadness. But in the classic、uh, Chinese literatures, every character、uh, has its own meanings. And when we read the classic literatures, we need to treat every character、uh, with its own meanings. So, 伤 is hurt. 悲 is Sadness. So the first paragraph is quite simple. Ah,、uh, it describes、uh, someone、uh, is on his chariot out, running quickly with four powerful, quick horses. But the way is turning left and、uh, right is not an、uh, easy way. It's in the zigzag ways, and、uh, and then. In the middle of the first paragraph, it turned to another angle. The poet asked himself, "Why sh- shouldn't I think of、uh, coming home? Or why、uh, is that I never thought about、uh, going back to my home? No, never, because my duty, the,、uh, the king of Zhou gave me." Never stops. So because I cannot come back to my home, I feel so hurt. I feel so sad. So here is a, a first、uh, clue、uh, to associate this poem with warfare, with battles. The Wang Shi. So the most important things for the king of Zhou is two things. The、uh, the prey to the ancestors, and the, the other is the war with the enemies.、Uh, the 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 Wang Shi 在世在荣 so keep that in mind. Pray to the ancestors, pray to the Lord in the temple, or the war, the the warfares is the two most important things for the Zhou people or for the Lord of. So, and also the four strong horses, the chariot is has a very very strong link with the war. So with two things, I I'm uh I identify this poem is about a soldier, a general, uh in a war, and this poem is about something of the war. Okay, let's go to the second paragraph. It's quite similar with this first paragraph. 四母飞飞，滩滩落马。The four strong horses running so quickly, and、uh, this strong horses is running with with a、uh, ease, with comfort. So, uh, 落 means the horses. Ah,、uh, the the hair of the horses has two colors. The hair around his neck was in black, and all the other uh part is white. So that horses was so called Luoma with two colors, basically bla ah、uh, black and white. Tan Tan described the status of the horses in a very comfort uh. In a comfort way,、uh, and the first sentence is described: this horse is running so quick and、uh, like flying, and、uh, so in this、uh, writing, so it tell us this man was driving.
the best chariot, was driving the best horses. Even they are running with the full speed. The horses is very, uh, it looks like a easy job. It's、uh, running in a very comfort way. 岂不怀归？王室迷谷。Is that to say I never thought about going home? No, never. The duty, the affairs, uh, from the kings never stops. 不遑起处。I even don't have any breaks to have a rest. 起处，起 means、uh, sit there. On their knees, have a little rest. True means to stay down in the whole house, the for for the overnight, uh, rest, sleeps. Uh, 不慌 There's no uh time. No uh, it's in a hurry. So I'm in a hurry. I have no time to have a short rest, even have a long rest overnight. 翩翩者追，载飞载下。The thing that flying is the bird of the turtle dove. It flying up, and finally it, uh, stay down somewhere. 急于暴雪 ，it gathered at the tree of 雪。嗯、uh, ，and the 暴 means. It's the spring time. It has the flowers, but it's not in a full uh blossom. The flowers is still uh ramped up, not in a blossom. So it's the early springs. It, so with this sentence, it tells us the time. It's the spring time. So uh, if you have uh read my uh see my video of the. Uh, another poem, Cai Wei. You know that the war has its time. So the uh the people of Zhou normally they try their best to stick their things according the seasons. So the war only happens in the winter's time. When the spring comes, they should stop their war and let. The generals, the soldiers, to come back to their home. Why they do that? Because they are all farmers. They live on their farmlands. So, and when the spring comes, everybody should come back to their、uh, far farmland to do the farming work. And、uh, here it tells us that it's the early spring time. This guy, the poet. This soldier, this general, still on his chariot. It's running all the time. He has no time to rest, not to say come back to home, come back to his farmland. So you can see the urgency of this war, of these battles, and the、uh, bird I translated as a turtle dove, uh, 追 and.、Uh, Actually, there's、uh, so many arguments. There's a general saying: "We this bird is 住酒 Actually, we 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 have no、uh, very concrete explanation for modern Chinese for 住酒 and we even don't know what kind of birds in the ancient time、uh, the 住酒 it is. So just take it as a turtle dove. Uh, that's my best effort translation, and the、uh, 偏偏 is used to describe the、uh, the status of flying, and、uh, you can see the composition of this character. It's with the、uh, feather, the right part radicals is feather. The left part is the sounding, pian.、Uh, so that's how these words comes from. And it, I, I think I do think it describes the status. The、uh, the wings of the bird is up and downs is flying, 偏偏者
呃追。折 is identical as 的。So if you are Uh, learn some of the Chinese. We have a structure, grammar structure, uh, which is some something adjective plus the, which and uh, the plus the adjective plus the make this uh whole uh words as a noun. 偏偏者追 is identical to the modern Chinese. 偏偏的追 Okay, let's continue. 王室迷孤，不遑将复。The affairs from the king never stops. I have no time to serve my father. Okay, the fourth paragraph. 翩翩者追，载飞载止。The turtle dove was flying. Up and down, and finally it stopped at the tree of Qi. Uh, so Bao Qi describe also uh describe it's the early springs. Bao means the flower, not not blossomed, but it has flow flower already. It's the early spring time. Wang Shi Mi Gu Bu Huang Jiang Mu. The affairs from king never stops. I have no time to serve my mother. So these two paragraphs basically is identical, but it gave gave us very important informations. It's the spring time, uh, but he's still busy with the uh uh battle in in the war field, and he has no time to serve. Uh, his mother and father, not to say to to do the farming work to make his own living. Uh, so that's the, is why uh he felt he was hurt and sighed, uh sadness in the first paragraph. 王室迷孤，我心伤悲。So it's not because I'm so busy. I never. I had a time to have a take a little rest. It's not for that sake. No, no matter how hard the battle, the things on the battlefield, it is no. No matter how hard it is, it's not the concern. It's not the sadness. The sadness is because my father, my mother, and the farmland. I I I have no time to serve、uh, my family to make the living for my family. Okay, the last paragraph. 驾笔思落，载昼青青。I'm driving these four strong, quick horses. They running so quickly. 昼 means fast, very fast. 青青 also describe the status. It's running fast, and it also implied something about. They are moving forward in the battlefield. Qin is、uh, has something related with the、uh, march forward. 岂不怀归？是用作歌，姜母来审。So is that to say I never thought about、uh, going home? No, never. So I did this songs. So I write down these songs and use these songs to、uh, serve my mother to、uh, to think about my mother.、Uh, so the sequence of the character is、uh, not in the right normal sequence. So the normal sequence sh- should be 岂不怀归，用事作歌。Okay, we have、uh, go through this simple poem. It's a, a thinking home, thinking family members poetry, and the background is the war, is the battles, the soldier, the general is in the battlefield. That was revealed and reflected through the term four strong horses, the chariot. 
字母 and also another term, 王室 the affairs from the king, and、uh, the more、uh, strong, powerful the chariot, the horses it is, the more sadness、uh, the poet,、uh, the soldier felt about his family members, about、uh, his home. And also, there's another way of contrast that the battlefield,、uh, the life in the battlefield, in the front lines, are so hard, so poor. And then he will use this very hard and poor life in the battlefield to contrast his、uh, thinkings to his families.、Uh, with with that, with this comparison. The harder shape, the poor life in the battlefield is nothing. So to contrast how he, uh, his thinking of his home, how hard he's thinking of his home, and that, uh, type of writing, uh, is with the poem Cai Fei. You can have a little check up on on that poem Cai Fei. It's uh with of much. More complicated writings and feeling expressed. This one is quite straightforward and、uh, simple. Okay, that's for today. And、uh, bye bye.